guys today we actually have the brand new legends keith jackson and clay matthews now in this game we are going to go ahead and have Cle uh, my man keith jackson play tight end but at the end of this game make sure you stay tuned because i'm going to put him at strong safety you guys gonna see at the end of this game we're gonna put him at strong safety and i'm gonna spoil it right now he does get an interception i i don't know how i don't know where he's gonna get an interception so today here are his stats we all, of course do have double me on him run off elite slot apprentice tight end apprentice and mid out elite um we also do have on defense here we have mr clay matthews and he does have fear monger on him and out of my way in edge threat elite both these guys actually have a phenomenal game today which is really crazy because i usually don't get an insane game by two different players in the same game but you know what let's get it boys let's see how good these players can do one second boy all right guys go ahead and see what my opponent is rocking here okay so not the not the god squad god squad thank god because i swear to god every time i load into this game i feel like i see 94 94 94 at this point and i mean i know we're getting to that point in madden where we're gonna start seeing 94s across the board but you know what i, I just want to hold i want to hold on to a couple more weeks of not seeing freaking almost 99 overall god squads okay we are only in november thankfully um so trust me when, when the season ends that's when madden gets a little broken and then we see some really crazy freaking god squads um which of course i will have at that point but you know whatever scum kicked me i got scum kicked i feel so offended all right so yeah i was just about to say i'm pretty sure that he's going to be lined up right here which is going to give him a lot of work in my offense because i do throw to the tight end literally 90 percent of my game is tight end work so let's do this because i'm gonna have to be careful because once he sees me trying to use him a lot he's gonna instantly start covering him and double covering him and triple covering him so i have to be a little bit smart here i gotta be a little bit smart here or else you know it's just gonna be an absolute l all right i think this is a tight end release play it is there we go okay i cannot i cannot do this whole entire game because eventually i'm just telling you right now he's just gonna literally start like double covering him this is the only issue with showing off an offensive player is you, you kind of have to sprinkle you see exactly what i'm talking about there which again i have no issue with because it does make sense if your opponent literally stoned the one guy you're gonna try to cover that one guy but this issue is trying to show off one player because like it kind of becomes obvious it's like you know what i have this random feeling you're gonna throw to that one set guy and keith jackson i gotta be careful too he fumbles the ball this guy keeps sitting in a tampa too and i the outsides are so booty butthole naked boys oh i don't i don't want to be that guy but i have to be that guy they're so they're so naked okay it, it's like it's pretty bad at this point it's pretty bad at this point this these outsides yeah, yeah, really Vic? i brought back Vic for this gameplay and Vic is gonna absolutely destroy me he he got out of tampa too by the way so that wasn't really technically speaking as open as it should have been because he got out of tampa too but just really disappointed in Vic throwing I, I don't know if you guys ever use michael Vic in madden but he is absolutely got off with throwing the ball sometimes he really ticks me off he keeps sitting in tampa too bro do you not know what tampa 2 gets beat by oh okay. keep sitting in tampa 2. he's gonna keep going tampa 2 no matter what although what he's gonna give me here is the underneath yep and that's a tutty uh he's gonna give me the underneath because now he's gonna shade over top trying to stop that which again the way you stop that just call cover three because tampa 2 you're gonna get the outsides wide open and what i'm gonna do eventually is just line up keith jackson in a like in the slot there and just have money outsides with Tampa too. All right, so now we get to see how good Clay Matthews actually plays. Which, to be honest, I am curious. I'm curious to see, man. All right, where is he on the field? It, he's not even on the field. Okay, great. So I gotta actually sub him in then, because for some reason, whenever I put my Razor linebacker on the field, he never actually plays. 
Um, this guy's gonna literally throw a pick six before I can show Clay Matthews off. Hang on, my man. Before you throw a pick six and I have to, you know, get upset that Clay wasn't in the game, let me put in Clay Matthews and then you may throw a pick six, okay? This guy's gonna throw a pick six before I even get a Clay Matthews anything. <laughs> This guy, this guy's stolen wild passes right now, okay? He's stolen wild passes. Okay, and you're not gonna... He's gonna go no huddle here. This guy's gonna quit after this play. If he doesn't get it, he's quitting. I guarantee you. I've seen it before. He's gonna need a miracle here for him not to quit this game. Alright. Outside. And... He's gonna quit. GG. Okay. I, 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 you know what? That's might be the first time I have seen that scenario where the guy doesn't quit. Well, you know, we're going to Keith Jackson. You know, he's going to try to cover Keith Jackson. This play should be booty butthole naked as long as he does it. You know, absolutely. Oh, that's a one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, I guess I'll take Devontae catching the ball. That wasn't supposed to be Devontae. That was supposed to be a, a double me on Keith Jackson. Um, okay. That was not supposed to be a Devontae Adams makes the play. I I threw that way too late by accident. I ended up pump faking that without realizing I pump faked it. All right. Um, let's do that. Underneath here. He's going to cover. He's going to cover Keith Jackson. He's going to give me a free tutties because he's going to shut down Keith Jackson. Which, to be honest, even though he's technically going to shut down Keith Jackson, he's still giving up a lot to Keith Jackson. It's kind of funny. All right. So now Clay should be in the game. Let's go. So now we can actually see Clay Matthews in action. Well, this guy just wants to throw a pick six. Then I'm, we might not see him. We might not. Hopefully we do. Come on. Come on, my man. That was something. There we go. Like in the ball, and I swear to God. <laughs> Why are you stop going to one, old man? You're making this too funny for me. It's like, I don't know how this guy plays off. He tries to throw it right at the defender. Oh, he has me there. Oh, he doesn't have me there. Oh, he, somehow? Okay. I mean, I. you know what? I'm not even mad. It was it bullcrap? Probably, but you know what? I don't even care. At least he'll stay in the game. And I kind of like playing this guy. So at least he'll stay in the game. This is actually kind of funny. You know, it's funny how 90% of the time now I have fun in Mutt. Is it really related to actually Mutt? He's now trying to run ebook blitzes against me, by the way. But it's not even really like when I have fun in Mutt. It's, cause it's actually Mutt I'm having fun with. I'm having fun with the fact of how like stupid this game can be like that actually entertains me more than the actual video game I'm playing it's just how funny mutt can be and like how ridiculous it can be that actually entertains me more than anything it's kind of um counterintuitive here so I'm gonna have to actually um I'm actually gonna go ahead and blitz him this might be stupid of me but I do have deep man KO on my players. So I'm going to blitz him. I, I'm just going to try it. I should be able to catch up with him and keep up with him on some of these players. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I forgot. Night train lane. Full night train lane cannot cover um, Dave Casper. Guess you guys were, um, you guys didn't know. Uh, yeah. So night train lane cannot cover Dave Casper according to the uh, manga. Uh, it's actually confirmed in like three different issues. Um, if you ever would have thought that, you know, a guy with better speed and everything. Why is, bro, why is my freaking guy not in the game? Why is Clay not in the game, bro? This is why I don't use linebackers. You, you wonder why I don't use linebackers? This is why. Because there's no real point to use linebackers in this game. Okay. There's actually a zero percent reason to use linebackers in this game i like linebackers they're interesting but you're just not really they don't hold much value to me 
like they don't do anything <laughs> i safeties jump linebackers don't that's why we don't use linebackers <laughs> bro i just want him to moss somebody <laughs> like oh my god when I see one-on-one -on -one coverage with him, I want him to go up and make the play. <laughs> I don't get it. Come on, man. Like, I know that was probably not the best pass ever, but it was one-on-one, -on -one, right? So I'm like, okay, one-on-one. -on -one, my guy should easily be able to out-destroy his guy. Should be able to happen. That's how I, I think logically. But I kind of have to remember with Madden terms, I'm not going to get that even though my guy is way better. What was that thing they said about going into this year? Clay Matthews! Let's go, baby! First play! First play of the game, and he makes a play. Not first play of the game, but first play he gave. First time he made a play today. But didn't they say, like, going into this year that all defensive backs and wide receiver matchups are going to be based on how good the player is? Hmm. Hmm. That is crazy. That is crazy that they would talk about something added to the game and it simply does not work correctly well that's um that's what you got when you play madden 23 that's ford progress eliminated i apologize for that my good sir but you got hit and then your guy decided that he was not going to go down so therefore it is no ford progress he's gonna cover he's gonna cover keith jackson i know he will Oh, he won't. <sighs> okay. Keith, you better catch that. Thank you, Keith Jackson. Finally. I don't even know what his stat line is. And I know this guy's probably going to quit before I can check it. I'm going to check his stat line. I don't care about you quitting this game yet. <sighs> stat line, receiving. He's 86, six receptions, 86 yards, and a touchdown. That is what you call a W right there. All right, man. Second half of football. We want to see a lot from um, Clay Matthews here. Okay. This guy's going to soft. No huddle. Can I guess no huddle? No huddle. I knew it. This guy's literally like no huddle every single play. Something I want to see them change next year is there should be a, not a penalty, but actually there should be some kind of like runoff for doing no huddle every single play. Not again at the end of the game. It makes sense, right? The game's almost over. You call no huddle over and over again. You're trying to get down the field. But when you're doing it like this guy, this should be some kind of penalty. Like, there should be some kind of, like, you know, downside of doing it, I feel like. And they did that with um, calling multiple audibles. And multiple audibles will actually cause you every single time to get a false start penalty. They need to add something like that to the game. But for this, that would definitely make sense, in my opinion. So... I hope so. But at the same time, though, I don't know. I don't know with EA Sports because they are EA Sports. Let's see what they do here. Is he going to run the ball or is he going to pass the ball? That's the question. It's going to be a pass play. It's another PA crossers. And it's another tutty because for some reason, my man Malik Hooker cannot literally run one on one one player. Ugh. All right. It's all good. Mainly because we're going to go right down the field and score in this kid. So, I, I, at this point, I'm just happy that he's staying in this game. That's what I'm more or less happy about. All right. So, let's see what we can do on offense here. He actually ran commit. No! Dang it. I was so amped to throw it to... I could have thrown a free tutty. I was so amped, though, to throw it to my man's um, Keith Jackson. That I threw a pick. Oh, that sucks. It's all good. <laughs> I was so amped, man. I was like, oh, yes, he ran commit. Throw a free tutty to Keith Smith. Or Keith Jackson. Have I been calling him Keith Smith this whole entire game? Keith Jackson. And then, yeah. <sighs> Mistakes were made. Friendly fire, boys. Friendly fire there. But you know what? I would have done the same thing if you give me a second. If you gave me another chance there. Because <sighs> I really wanted to get the ball to Keith Jackson. It's almost like this gameplay is literally revolved around him. That's literally going to keep running the football over and over again. Is this going to be another run play? Oh, no, it's a pass play. And oh, is that Clay Matthews? 
bro clay is an absolute god he has two sacks in this game i'll make the title of this video clay matthews is a god oh he used her oh oh yeah baby he users against keith jackson i roll out he tries to get me then i throw it to keith jackson <laughs> that's how you get the ball to keith jackson folks you roll out you say i'm not gonna throw to him and then you guess what you throw to him that's what you do absolutely god tier all right he's gonna use her keith jackson oh my god he hit me hard he hit me really hard that wasn't nice that was definitely not nice I, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend him to our friend all right let's see what he uses okay you know what I really just want Keith Jackson to catch the ball in double coverage all I want for this video is a double coverage catch by Keith Jackson all right that's all I want I'm not getting it. And I'm frustrated because I'm not getting it. All right, let's see what we got here, boys. I'm just going to get the guaranteed in life. I'm going to take the guarantees in life. I wanted, I wanted to this though to Keith Jackson there. I'll be honest with you. That was like all I wanted there, but I'm going to take the guarantees. You know what I'm going to do? Watch this, watch this, watch this. He's not going to see it coming. Ha! Can't use him now, buddy. You can't use her Keith Jackson now. Okay, I'm pretty sure Keith Jackson has over 300 yards in this game. No, he has like over 100 yards now. So, I, I, I don't know at what point this just becomes we don't have to throw the ball to Keith Jackson game. But you know what? It's going to become we don't to, we're going to throw the ball to Keith Jackson. How many yards does Keith Jackson have now? Receiving 125 yards on nine receptions and a tutty. It's pretty dang good. You ask me, that's pretty dang good. That's like, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's pretty much an S tier at this point. With how little I actually, like, I don't over target players ever unless they're like running that Y slot right there. So the fact that I'm over targeting this much is actually surprising. The fact my opponent knows I'm over targeting in this much, I just want one. I just want one, one catch in double coverage. I have double me on him. I have pretty much every single ability you can have on him. I just want one double coverage catch. <sighs> I'm more disappointed. I'm taking a shot. Come on, please. If I get one, I'll be happy. If I could get one double coverage play i will literally be the most happiest man of all time i'm not in one i just want to i want to catch in coverage man like it's not fun if i win the game and he doesn't make the play it's not as fun I want him to make a play. Okay, he's now in. I'm throwing it up to him. YOLO. Dude, dude, you really do not get it when you're in single coverage? All right, this guy's just going to chuck it deep. And I know it. I, I should I should be using him. I should be using Douglas here. I'm just going to use a Douglas. I'm just going to cover deep against him. I'm not gonna allow him to get a free toddy. Come on, hike the ball, dude. I think I think he's scared that I'm using Douglas. Why are you taking the delay of game? Why exactly are you taking the delay of game penalties now? Uh, I think does he think I'm gonna like get off of him if I do that? No, I'm gonna still stay on Douglas. I'm sorry, but man, I'm gonna stay on Douglas. Cause I know what you're gonna do. He's gonna hike the ball and throw it deep. So I'm gonna use him. Is he not going to hike the ball until I get off of him? Th th this is not what he's doing, right? Uh, 
Okay, wait. I, I don't want to say, why is he taking delay of games if he is, okay, I he's calling his play right away. Like he's not even waiting to call his play. He's literally calling his play right away. I'm so confused right now. Is he going to take another delay of game and lose this game? Why? Like, what exactly was the purpose of this? Okay, now, is he going to hike the ball? I don't get what he's doing. Okay, so... He did all that so he could throw it deep. He did all that so he could get more yards to throw the ball deep. I actually hate the Madden, Madden players. He actually did that so he could throw the ball deep. That is... Why is Keith Jackson on defense? What actually why is Keith Jackson on defense? I I <laughs> Why is Keith Jackson playing defense? I did I just now realize that Keith Jackson can play defense? This is actually amazing. Okay, I just got to use a lure quick Keith Jackson. That actually made my day. That actually made my day. What in the absolute F just happened, bro? Did Keith Jackson just get a pick? Oh my God. And then he scores a touchdown. Keith Jackson just got an interception on defense and then scored a touchdown. Here to you, bro. Let's play to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys join us in the lights coming up low. I'll see you guys next one. Bye.